Hello everybody and welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy video here on the Gamer Visuals YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing something that is long overdue and we're actually going to be taking our house quiz. And more than that we're going to be finding out what our Patronus is and what wand we're going to end up using here in Hogwarts Legacy because on the Wizarding World profile thing you can actually transfer this stuff over to the actual Hogwarts Legacy game later on and use it in the game. So we're going to sort and see what house we're going to end up being in. And I also, if you guys to notice in the background here I also read the background in preparation for Hogwarts Legacy can you guys see it there we go did a whole Harry Potter themed thing with all of my Harry Potter books and all of some of, uh, some of my memorabilia that I have collected over the years so we're gonna hop right into it and see what house we're gonna end up playing okay guys so on your profile here you guys can actually go ahead and like edit your profile picture and make your guy look or, or girl or whatever look however you want um, but uh, I already did that so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it that way you see I already just like mess around with it and put a couple of fun things on there gave myself some butter beer of course and uh, a nice snowy owl back there but we're gonna go ahead and do real quick is we're gonna do the house quiz first and see what house we're gonna be sorted into so uh, let's go ahead and do it. I guess you can do this on your phone and all this stuff too, but I'm going to go ahead and do it here on PC so you guys can uh, hang out and do it with me. So uh, let's see. Dawn or Dusk? Uh, I'm a morning person, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Dawn. Um, four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? Uh, that's, that's a maroon colored one, a uh, black one, uh, a white one, and this like bright one. Uh, golden liquid, so bright that it hurts the eye, which makes sunspots dance all around the room. I didn't even read this stuff. The whole foaming, frothing silver liquid that sparkles contain ground di ground diamonds. Ooh. Strange visions. That's kind of cool. Uh, delicious. I'm going to go with this one. Who wouldn't want to drink diamonds? Let's like that. All right. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash and crust and tear se several... Irre irreplaceable items and treasures and which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club if you could okay a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox uh probably last i'd guess for right now uh student records going back a thousand years i guess that a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes i don't know i guess i guess that would be first I can i switch them no I guess not. I guess you can't read. Yeah. First, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Then the student records going back. Finally, okay. So then, re okay. So you can reorder them. So which one is this one? Reorder the items. So how do I? So nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. I guess I'd put that first because that could help people. Uh, student records going back a thousand years. I don't really care about that. And then this because that's magic that you could actually do. Yeah, that's what I actually want to do. So that could help people. This could also help people. Uh, with with magic and then yeah that we'll, we'll go ahead and go with that Okay, which nightmare would frighten you the most standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no Hand or footholds nor any barrier to stop you falling being forced to speak in a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you That's a crazy. That's that's what I might fear really waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any idea who you are That would be terrible an eye at a keyhole, an eye at the keyhole of a dark windowless room, which you are locked. So you're like trapped in a room. Which nightmare would frighten me the most? Probably, honestly, my family and friends. That would that would literally be the worst. No, that that wouldn't be scary at all. Honestly, it'd be this one. If my friends or family had no idea who I was, I would that would be insanely crazy for me. Yeah. Okay. After you have died, what would your most what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Oh, cool. Ask for more stories about your adventures. It's going to end up being this one. Miss you, but smile. Oh, that's a good one, too. Think with admiration of your achievements. That's not terrible, either. I don't care what people think after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Oh, my God. These are, this is hard. How am I supposed to pick one of these? Uh, honestly, this is kind of how I live my life, really. You know? Um, but... Honestly, yeah, like it'd be kind of cool for people to like remember me and like talk about my adventures that I, and things that I did. So we'll go with that one. Uh, which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people. That's kind of, yeah, I like the ocean, so that'd be kind of cool. Centaurs, werewolves. Those really interest me. Vampires, goblins, trolls, ghosts. 
Oh, man. Okay, so in real life, I'm very interested in ghosts and stuff like that. But I, it would have to be between ghosts, I think, and maybe uh, mer people. So, like, water stuff. Let me see. I'm going to go with ghosts. Because ghosts are just, like, crazy, and that would be kind of cool to know about that more. Okay. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Al, duh. Easy. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Okay, the barn owl, the tawny owl, snowy owl, a screech owl, or a brown owl. Okay, so I like the screech owl a lot. And, of course, I like the snowy owl because of Hedwig. The barn owl is kind of cool looking, too, actually. <laughs> Um, we're gonna we're gonna have to go with the snowy owl. They're they're really pretty. Why not? Okay, white or black? Uh, white probably represents the light. I'm gonna go ahead and guess, and black represents dark. So, uh, in real life, I honestly will always wear black more. So I just got I can't lie. The sorting hat is ready. Oh god, guys, the sorting hat is ready to make a decision. Uh, I I honestly don't. So before this before this happens, I'm gonna let you guys know. Before on Pottermore, I was a Gryffindor. That's that's I've always I've always known that I've always known that. So let's see if it's still that, based on what what answers I just gave. Let's see. I knew it. See, it's Gryffindor again. Every single time. No matter what. Better be Gryffindor. It's always Gryffindor. So, okay guys, so we got sorted into Gryffindor and honestly, if I was to tell you right now that I wasn't like over the moon excited, then uh, I'd be lying because I, I pretty much knew that it was gonna be Gryffindor no matter what I answered. And you guys saw, I answered as truthfully as possible and all that stuff, but uh, maybe it was foreshadowing. I just wore a freaking <laughs> like maroon colored shirt. I, I don't know, man, whatever. But I, I, and look, my mouse is red too. I don't know if I just saw that coming, but either way, let's go ahead and move on to our Patronus. Oh, it says better with headphones. Let me go ahead and put these on. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, the desire to survive. Remus Lupin. Very cool, very cool. Dude, this is awesome. Discover your Patronus. Let's do it. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are time to go with your instincts. Perfect. Easy. I'm not worried about this, guys. Okay, relax. Think of your happiest memory. Oh, that's an easy one. I got that one right up here already, guys. Sun, wind, rain. Every time. Sunny days, always. Bone, blood. Blood. Every time. My flesh and blood. My family. Love that. Think, sense, feel. You always gotta feel it. No matter what. Sometimes you can't think, you don't have time to do it, so you gotta feel it. It's the way I always think about it. I saw a claw where it might have been a fang. Keep going. Okay. Why? Who? Always ask why. It's astonishing. You've almost done it. This is super cool. I had no I, I had no idea about this guys. Listen, watch, touch. Touch. Oh here it is. Let's see if we get to the, the little pond here and throw our patronus out like Harry did. Love this. Click, drag, and release for your patronus, okay? An Irish Wolfhound is our Patronus, you guys. It makes sense that it would be a dog. I love my dogs. So, that's pretty cool. An Irish Wolfhound is my Patronus. Very, very cool. I was not expecting that. I had no idea, but that is actually really, really cool. Nice. Well, we have ourselves a Patronus now. There's the noise it makes, too. That's great. That's so cool, man. Okay, last thing here. Let's go ahead and select our wand, or find what our wand will be. 
All right, here we go. First of all, would you describe yourself as tall, short? I'm average. Definitely average. I'm six foot. Uh, your eyes, they are blue. Was the day on which you were born even number, odd number? May 12th, that is an even number. Do you most pride yourself on your determination, originality, optimism, imagination, resilience, kindness, intelligence? Ooh, uh, let's see. I think probably determination, maybe, or resilience, I would say. I would say determination, most likely, yeah. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest? We're going towards the sea, baby. Do you most fear fire? Nope. Darkness. Eh. Isolation. Heights. Small spaces. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I don't really fear being alone. Fire doesn't really scare me too much. Uh, the dark? No, not really. Heights? Don't really either. I guess I'll pick small space. I don't really like being confined. No, I guess I'll pick that. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, golden key, dusty bottle, ornate mirror, glittering jewel, black glove, bound scroll. Ooh, this is a fun question. What would, uh, dusty bottle. What would I pick? Um... Glittering jewel bound scroll. I wonder, like, I know it doesn't matter, but just like, I'm thinking of like, if I actually saw this, what would I pick? Um, the golden key could unlock something. So maybe I'd probably pick the golden key. Let's go with that. All right. What is it? What is it? All right. Here is my wand. It is hazelwood with a phoenix core, 12 and 1 fourth inch, and unbending flexibility. Super cool. Look at that. So hazelwood is a sensitive wand. Hazel often reflects its owner's emotional state and works best for a master who understands and can manage their own feelings. This is the rarest core type. Phoenix feathers are capable of the greatest range of magic. Nice. Though they may take longer than either unicorn or dragon cores to reveal this. They show the most initiative, sometimes acting of their own accord, a quality that many witches and wizards dislike. Phoenix feather wands are always the pickiest when it comes to potential owners. For the creature from which they are taken is the, one of the most independent and detached in the uh, in the world. These wands are the hardest to tame and to personalize, and their allegiance is usually hard won. So that makes sense. The wand does choose the wizard, though, so I feel like it would it would work eventually. All right, guys. So that's it. I wanted to quickly make this little video to uh, get prepared for the new Hogwarts Legacy game coming out because, like I said, you can actually take this stuff that you get picked uh, on the Wizarding World the website and and actually bring it into the Hogwarts Legacy game and use it. So go ahead and tell me down below in the comments what you guys got sorted into and uh, what your Patronus and Wand are, and if you guys are excited for Hogwarts Legacy as well. But until the next one, I'll see you guys later.